Okay, welcome to part three of the new uh, series that I have on uh, PCs for Dummies. In this one, I'm going to show you about firewalls. Windows does come with a firewall, but it's not a very good one. It's uh, it's good enough for at least you have a firewall. But if you want a real good firewall, you need to open up your web browser. Uh, you can go to Google and search for Komodo. Um, there, of course, there's other good firewalls out there. But uh, Komodo is a free one, and it's a really good one. Once you search for that, uh, you have this come up right here. What you want to do, you want to go right here where it says free download. Click on that one. Then it's going to take you to this page right here. And you have a couple of the choices here. You can get the one where you have to pay for, or the free one. My advice is get the free one because you already have an antivirus, and it wants to install a firewall and antivirus but you're only going to install the firewall part of it so we'll go ahead and click this uh, download right here and we're going to save it I'm going to say this again make sure you uh, only download the firewall part of it not the antivirus and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a second make sure you don't do the antivirus part of it unless of course you don't already have an antivirus on there and you don't want to pass then you can just use you know both their antivirus and firewall okay once you're done and if you have Firefox you should have a download box right here uh, or you can just go where you download it at and click on it there but uh, basically you're gonna click on the setup uh, we're gonna take that off of there okay and it's gonna start uh, the wind strip extractor okay it's gonna take you here we're gonna click next and we're going to hit accept and then next okay now we're going to hit next now this is the very important part I'm gonna say it again it's very very important if you don't have an antivirus okay you can go ahead and keep it the way it is and install a antivirus in with it okay but if you already have an antivirus like a VAS or any other antivirus you want to uncheck the antivirus because you don't want to have more than one antivirus on here okay now I'll say it one more time okay make sure you uncheck the antivirus make sure this is not checked then you want to click next now here's some choices here you can have a one with low with, with, with it's going to be low uh, with, which you know I have you know enough straight a strength on it to work you know and stop stuff uh, then you can get the, the firewall with ultimate protected defense you can get that one uh, or you can get uh, the maximum protective with the defense plus uh, either this one or this one whichever one you want to do now note when you use one of these it's going to be aggravating at first for the first week or so. It's going to ask, you know, do you allow this? Do you allow this? Do you accept this? Do you allow this? Uh, I like to have mine on the maximum. Uh, it's asking you if you want to join the, uh, join the community. You can if you want to. If you do not, just, you know, click do not. Now it's going to install it. Again, like I said before, it's going to be aggravating for the first week and a half. Especially if you're installing a lot of programs. Uh, now we can scan my system for any malware or anything like that. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it. But anyhow, if you leave a check, it's going to uh, scan it and everything. If you don't, it's going to actually, are you sure it's clean? I'm going to hit yes. Okay, now it's going to ask me to restart my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer. And when I come back, I'll finish this video. Okay, we're back from uh, restarting the computer. Now, right now, I have a picture of a, De a Defense Plus alert on here. And this right here is going to pop up a lot, especially uh, when you first started using it. Um, after a while, you'll see it much less. You won't hardly ever see it. Uh, but most of the time, uh, when you first start running a program that, uh, you know, it hasn't noticed you run them before this one here is going to pop up you can either one hit allow request and hit OK 
or you can go right here and click the little drop down menu now of course this is a picture of it so it's not going to actually drop down for you but uh, when yours pop up you know you go right here and click it and then go down to trusted application and then you know you won't have problems with this uh, popping up now make sure right here where it says remember my answer make sure that's selected all right okay it's gonna be in different colors uh, and it's just telling you what the level is whether it's low medium or high um, but uh, the best thing to remember about this is if you're running a program then yes you need to go ahead and click allow or <clears throat> trusted application uh, if you're installing a program uh, this right here is going to pop up you can hit allow but you'll find yourself hitting OK, 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 OK a bunch of times. So it's best to go ahead and do Installer and Updater. Um, and then another uh, little uh, window will pop up and asking you, uh, are you sure you want to do this? And basically you're going to say yeah. Well, it might not say that exactly, but that's basically what it's going to uh, be like. And, well, when you you are also installing the program this right here might pop up again for another part of the program that you're going to need and you'll have to do install or update it again uh, and then once you're all done and everything later on it's going to ask you do you want to switch back to you know the the other mode and you just uh, click uh, yes anyways uh, that's it for this tutorial um, I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful about firewalls uh, in my opinion, I think you should have a firewall uh, that way to keep most hackers out of your computer and you know they won't be able to uh, get in there and get any of your personal information. Uh, so this is a very good program. I've yet to see any other programs as, uh, as good as Komodo. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day.